thanks so much for watching. Um, today's video is going to be a review on um, a hair extension line that I purchased myself. Um, I had never really owned decent hair extensions before, so I did my research, I watched my YouTube videos, I read a bunch of blogs, and sorry, they're shedding. And um, I had decided to go with the Luxie hair extensions. I got mine in dark brown in the 160 grams, but I did color them to match my hair. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a review on them. I actually think this is the first review on my channel, so um, bear with me um, in getting used to this. Um, just to give you a heads up, I do store... Um, my extensions in this Starlight container that I got from Target for like, I don't know, oh my god, they're shedding everywhere, for like five bucks. And then here they are, I believe there's either 10 or 12 wefts, um, some, I've worn them before, so like some are curled, obviously I've worn them before, some are curled, some are straight, I don't wear all the wefts in the same time, at the same time, and when I store them, um, so that they don't all get twisted, I take a hair tie, and I wrap it around like this, um, just so that they don't get all tangled and I kind of just lay it in like a C. Um, but anyway, so when I um, did my reviews, I mean, did my research on this, on hair extensions and stuff, um, what made me go with Luxie in particular was the fact that they said that there were sturdy clips and that they were thick. Um, when I got them, I was kind of disappointed. Um, obviously, this isn't like a first impression video because I've had them since the summertime. But, <laughs> but when I got them, they weren't super soft. They kind of had like a residuey feeling to them, like they were sticky or something. Um, and yeah, so basically, this is one of the four clip wefts. And they're not as thick as they seemed um, on uh, Mimi and Layla's video. If you don't know what Lexi Hair is, basically two sisters, um, they have a YouTube channel, I will link it below. Those two sisters um, designed a hair extension line. Um, I saw someone posted a video that they think that they had like redone their hair extensions, but um, I, that was like way after I bought mine. But anyway, so this is one of the wefts. They get knotted very easily. I mean, I comb through these constantly, and I just feel like like when they're on my head, like they get matted really easily. Um, the ends came, and they like were frayed, and they weren't smooth, and like I've had to trim them. Like it was almost as if they came with split ends, which was kind of weird. Okay, first of all, for, for for natural hair extensions and for my first pair, I really do like these. Um, they're easy to put in. Um, I don't know. It's really hard for me to judge them because I wanted to be obsessed with them like everybody else seems to be. But they don't seem super thick to me. Like, I don't know if you can see me, but I can see you through these. Um, the clips um, on one of them has already come loose. Here it is. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it completely, like, the thread's hanging over here. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I don't know how to sew, um, but that doesn't seem pretty reliable. And a lot of them, here, this is a good one to show you. They've been, like, rusting. Like, I don't know if you can see the, the pink tint, but that's rust. This is one that was curled. So that kind of upset me. The clips are coming loose too easily. Um, I don't st style them on my head, so they really shouldn't be coming loose because I'm not pulling. You know what I mean? Like, I hold it, I curl it, and then I clip it into my hair. Like, I'm not, like, pulling and brushing while they're in my hair. Um, and I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, they just feel dirty all the time, no matter how many times I wash them. Um, like, I just brushed this a hundred times, and already, like, my fingers are getting stuck. They shed like crazy. Like, this is what I was playing with during the video. Like, I pulled them out of the box, and it was just, like, coming out. Um, I do have to say, they do look like my hair. Like, none of my friends, like, understood, like, why my hair looked thick, thicker or longer. I don't know. I mean, I like them, and I, I think that they're 
a semi inexpensive starter kit. The free shipping that they offer is amazing. Um, their customer service is really good. I never really formally complained to the girls about what I thought about the hair extensions, but um, I don't know. I'm like kind of bummed out. The fact that the clip came loose already really, really bothers me. The fact that they get knotty and matted so easily really bothers me. And the fact that they just feel dirty. Like, I don't wear them as often as I'd like to. Like, I'd like to wear them every day. But they they feel, like, like slimy or something. Like, no matter what I do, no matter how many times I wash them, they still feel like, like, I feel like I have, like, a residue on my hands. Like, granted, I've used heat on these, and I've, I've used heat protectant, I've used heat on these, I've washed them a couple times, and I've colored them, but when I got them, they felt like straw, and they felt cheap and I don't really like that I have to say this but you know I spent $140 on these I think if not more and I really was expecting to be like oh my god I wish like I'm just gonna glue these on my head and wear them forever but like it actually made me appreciate my hair more as thin and as boring as it is because I mean I don't really like walking around feeling like I have knotted hair. And it almost, because it, they feel dirty, like, it makes me feel dirty. Like, I'll, I have clean hair right now, and if I put these in, I'd be like, oh my god, I need to take a shower, like, something's wrong, because I hate having dirty hair. Like, I wash my hair almost every day. If not, if every other day and no more, but, like, I would like to wash it every day. So, I mean, I do like them. I I'm probably sounding super negative. I do like them. Um, I was disappointed, but for my first decent set, I mean, my first, like, legit set, like, I literally have combed through this a hundred times, and it's just, no matter what I do, it's knotty, and it feels matted. There's no hairspray in it. I just, I can't grasp what is wrong with it. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but I was kind of debating with myself, like, do you want to put a video on your channel where it's not like 100% positive, but I just want to be honest. Um, I guess take my opinion for what it's worth. I'm a firm believer in, um, you know, making your own, forming your own opinions by your own experiences. However, I know that when I go to buy a product, I do as much research as I can to get multiple opinions. and. That, I think that's why I was so disappointed because everybody raved and raved and raved about them and then I got them and I was like what the heck is this so that's that uh, I'm not going to throw them out obviously I don't know when I'll buy another set of extensions they're super expensive and I had invested a lot of money into these for me at least um, 150 bucks is just you know not something I just have laying around like to blow on hair so um, that I think that's another reason why I was so upset with them was because I had been saving up my money and then I buy them and they come in and I was like and they like came like folded in the package and then there was like a whole bend here that I like had to straighten out it took like a week like I couldn't even wear them for a while because I had to get the den out and it was like crazy but I mean you can hear it they're not super soft they're not super detangled I don't know but that's it. Take it for what it's worth. Um, sorry if this video wasn't super exciting, um, but I will be posting some more. Um, oopsies, more shedding. I will be posting um, some more videos uh, this week and filming some tutorials. So, thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.